We revised the idea of future value yesterday. Uh, can anyone give me like a one sentence definition? Future value is what? Value. You want to try and re redeem yourself, sorry? A value into the future. That was exactly the quality answer that I came here for. Okay, so the idea is we have um, an annuity, right? We're putting regular installments in. Those installments are all earning interest. At some point in the future, you know, after some amount of time, some number of years, some number of months, whatever, this would be what it's worth, right? That's the idea of future value, okay? And so we, um, we had this guy, right? This graph that was to suggest if we do this process of installment, interest, installment, interest, installment, interest, you get the idea, right? We end at some upper value. Okay, now you'll really need to think hard for this one, and it was on the graph that we had a look at yesterday. How does that connect to present value? This is where we'll be some number of years or months into the future. Present value is something over here, right? What is it? Can anyone remember? Have a think. It's more complicated, so if you can't remember, that's okay. But I wonder if anyone does. Just raise that question again. Yeah. Um, what is, how would we define present value? If we defined future value as What's, what's that sum over there that you'll get to after a certain amount of time? Then how do we define present value? Do you want to have a stab? Yeah, if I recall, it's uh, how much money would you have to install now to be equivalent to the, to the uh, accumulated value? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon we're 90% there. So, of course, the name says present value. It's about, you know, if this is our time axis, right, as we go further and further into the future, as we go to the right, okay? So we're looking at something now, presently. It's a certain value that if you just put it in the bank, didn't do installments or anything like that, just took this big sum of money, popped it in there and let it gather interest, it would get you to that same point. That's the idea, okay? Now, this table enables us, just like the tables we looked at yesterday, to calculate these present values. But one of the things you'll notice about it is, um, this is a different kind of table, okay? Um, if, you, if you can, have a look at yesterday's table and compare it to this one, okay? Um, the first thing you'll notice is, as you'd hope, in yesterday's table, which is about future values, all the numbers are bigger than one. Can I say that again? Look at the table. In yesterday's table for future values, all the numbers are bigger than one. You'd hope so because they, they have to be, right? Because they're getting bigger, right? Well, if one year is a single measurement, the first year, mm -hmm. you can't have a future value after one sum. Yeah, OK. That's where you begin, right, after one year. OK? But I want you to notice, have a look. And this is kind of like the big glaring, like, huh, what's going on here? Look at the top row. Uh, or not the, like this row. Have a look at the first set of numbers that actually mean something. These are all zero point something. Why is that? Hmm. Now you might think, oh, does this have to do with depreciation? That's when you buy something and instead of increasing in value over time, it decreases in value. It's not exactly what's going on. Sophie, what are you thinking? Um, is that just the interest that's, like, because if you put it in at the beginning of the year, let's say, it does mm -hmm. gather interest over time before you put that second installment. Yep. Is that what that is? It's, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Uh, Sorry, I'll throw to you and then we'll see, because I don't want, we, we could conjecture about this for a long time, but what do you reckon? I just noticed like the more the the, the, the percentage goes up, mm -hmm. the, sh the small the smaller the point decimal is, right? Correct. So in instantly you're charging interest on the loan that you put down, right? Hmm. So now, the, yeah, so go on. One percent of whatever you put in is that. But then 20% of what you put in. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. So we're, we're getting on the right, we're getting, we're getting warmer here, okay? I hope you have noticed, I'll come to you in a second, Zachy. Um, I hope you've noticed, yes, there are patterns here. Even if you're not sure what the numbers mean, you can clearly see as you get closer and closer to the right, for some reason, these numbers are getting smaller and smaller. You're like, why is that? Isn't more interest rate like more, more better? Like that's going to make your investment worth more in the long term, right? I want you to think, again, this goes yesterday's table, right? At what point in the year did we put the installment in? Did we put it at the start? Yeah. We did not put it at the start of the year. We put it at the end of the year, right? Which is why at the end of the year, how much do you have for that dollar? Just a dollar. Didn't have any time to earn interest. Do you remember that? Okay. But the whole idea of present value, present value is, well, if I looked at it from now and looked at my dollar at the end of the year, how much would I have now to get to that one dollar? Right? Well, well, right now, if I say, for example, today, put in 99.01 cents, 
if I put it in today, it would actually earn 1% interest over the course of the year, right? So then guess what happens? By the end of that first year, your 99 cents, what's it going to turn into? Answer, a dollar. Does that make sense? Now, of course, these numbers do get bigger because we're putting more and more dollars in, but this is the fundamental difference between a present value table and a future value table. And it's why, as Serene pointed out quite accurately, this number over here is much smaller because if you only had 83.33 cents and put that in at the start of the year, if you could find some amazing institution that would give you this much interest, then you'd get to a dollar by the end of the year. Okay? Uh, much more likely than someone who would give you that much interest, um, you're more likely to find someone who's going to charge you that much interest. Credit cards, by the way, they're like 21, 22%. Interest? Mm -hmm. So pay it off. Don't use a credit card for credit. Okay. <laughs>